This is gonna be a little BNR, and we are here for another one. Sister Carrie Ann comes out, and she is calling out Andrew Ollis, period. And she said this was a video she should have done a month ago. Y'all remember that 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 uh old guy? The 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 the, the what do they call what do you call himself? I call him the voodoo priest. Y'all remember this man? That they said is coming in December? Well, the prophetess has a warning for Jamaica about this man. Alright? Me, um, with your love offering as well you can check the description box and the pin comment section hallelujah hallelujah praise the higher everybody okay i meant to do this video from about maybe a month or a month ago or something like that when i found out um that this hindu priest all right hindu guru guy from india is gonna make landfall in the country my country of jamaica and the story basically the prime minister of jamaica Andrew Olness, went to india earlier on this year probably about two or three months ago i believe he went to india on business trip right to do whatever he has to do for the country <laughs> i shouldn't laugh and he basically brought back this guru guy to unleash on the people of jamaica brothers and sisters listen to me jamaica is paralyzed already by witchcraft voodoo occultic bloodshedding all sort of just demonic stuff that goes on in the country they don't need anymore we don't need anymore and true? when i saw this i said to myself and i looked to heaven and i say lord why that's a question why because i remember in 2017 when and i've done a video about this when the american babylonian pastor right and pastor stephen anderson wanted to go to jamaica to witness about the love and the name of Josiah the christ to the people and yes the jamaican um entourage so they are the pharaohs and the caesars mainly speaking andrew Olness have blocked the pastor from coming in because sure. I'm going to show that story. Listen. Um, that pastor that they blocked, I'm about to show y'all that story. I'm going to find it. Hold on. The Transformer community kicked up a rumpus. Jamaicans will know what I'm talking about when I say rumpus. Kicks, kicked up a storm. Made a petition. You're listening to me, church. I hope you're listening. Made a petition. This is a Transformer community in Jamaica. 2017, this happened. Made a petition to hand your oldness and say look we don't want this christian pastor in our country and what did they do yes yes brothers and sisters they block are you listening to me church they block the christian pastor from coming into the country to preach and teach and to tell the people to turn away from their wicked ways but it wasn't only andrew Olness alone influence babylon us mm -hmm. was the main culprit in this one because this pastor is banned from all places in Babylon, US because yes, he basically said transformers are wrong. Living that lifestyle is wicked and you will go to hell for it. And they say that he's a hate preacher. So they ban him from here, there. And obviously Babylon, US controls Jamaica. So it's like they're letting what goes in and what comes out, right? That's their thing. So, so that was 2017 or 2018, something like that. They didn't let this Christian man in. Here we are, 2024. Are you, are you listening to me, Jamaica? Here we are in 2024. And this guy, Ravi, the guru, is a yoga practitioner. Now, if you know anything about yoga, you know that it's from the bottomless pit of hell. Nothing to do with Ahaya or Yesaya is son. Nothing at all. This practice is demonic. And no born again child of the Most High should ever, 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 ever indulge in nothing to do with yoga. Because yoga is basically the opening up of portals that you've got to empty yourself to the higher deity, the higher iniquity power that is higher than you. And this is not Yesaya the Christ. This is demons, principalities. So we encourage the body of Christ, don't do yoga this guy is a big massive teacher of this but when i read you something brothers and sisters because aya isn't happy 
And this is why I said Andrew Olness went to India to do business trip and he came back with, with, with Ravi. <laughs> he came back with Ravi to unleash on the people. We don't need no more Bangarang. Jamaica don't need no more Bangarang. It is what it is. Instead of calling fasting and prayer, because Jamaica is indeed a Christian country, right? So instead of calling fasting and prayer, you are bringing in an occultic man. You are bringing in a yoga man. A man that has nothing, no lot and part to do with the gospel of Yeshua the Christ. What is it that you're doing? Why is it that you are sinking Jamaica more and more? I did a video about Andrew Holness and I did say that he's spiritually killing the country. Not to mention physical, but because he's the head of the country spiritually. Sad, but it's true. I've done the video. Spiritually, Andrew Holness is sinking the country. Because I believe that when the people voted for him, they voted for him on the favor that he's a born again Christian. Come on, no church. It's true. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. David Costa, the Dean and CEO here at Robert Kennedy College in Zurich, Switzerland. And Everybody in the church was excited. This, that, you know, Andrew's coming in. He's a Christian, sing his praises, but brothers and sisters, he has sold out. Mm -hmm. It is unfortunate, but it's the truth. On the ear, Andrew, on me say all I live right there, I'm gonna come over here, so. Come over here, so. Andrew Ones born a preacher, 38,000 LGBTQ people, almost 39,000. Me just show it a while ago. Two articles. Let me show it again. I'm gonna come over here a little bit. I'm gonna just clip up this and show the neighbor right people them. Alright? Facts and evidence we deal with. And this is why this is why I, um, um, Jamaica get a judgment coming to us very, very soon. Right there. See that? See that, ladies and gentlemen? Jamaica bans anti gay Arizona pastor from visiting Jamaica, Stephen Anderson, pastor from the Faithful Word Baptist Church, who says gay people should be rated to death, denied entry. Star Girl, big up. Simeon Israel, big up. Okay, last song, big up yourself. Right? So, then band the preacher. And this city right here, so this is a positive outcome in which I am very pleased, said J. John, an activist who launched an online petition calling on Jamaican government to bar and this. More than 39,000 people signed the petition. I wonder if, I wonder if, I wonder if 100,000 Jamaicans signed the petition for Andrew Wallace resign immediately. And call the election, he would have done it. Because 39,000 people moved him up. So I wonder if, I wonder if 100,000 Jamaicans signing the petition for him resign or remove him. Can somebody create a petition? So I can share it, and we just we all just sign that that want him to resign. Can we do that? Can we do that, guys? Somebody create a petition right now for Andrew Oldis to resign and drop. Send me the link on my number one eight seven six four five one six five three five. It's full time now. Let's just get it over with, even before December six. Can we call? For Andrew Ones resignation from now till the next till, till next week Friday. Because next week Friday should be the, the, the 6th of December, isn't it? Yeah. I think I think we need to do that. They are sun worshippers. Well, if they are worshipping sun, that means that they're not worship God. Yeah. So you know, the the, 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 the lady is right about them, isn't it? So here is two articles we're finding out. There's more than two still, but this one is BBC. Jamaica barred anti-gay preacher Stephen Anderson, and it says the same thing. Jamaica laws, um, Jamaica laws criminalize gay sex rights group have warned the LGBT lesbian blah 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 blah. But the LGBT um, right activist Jamaica started a petition 
Um, the governmental band was signed by more than 38,000 people. See, J. John, who launched Mr. Shot, said he's very pleased. It's the same story. You know what I'm saying? So they blocked him. They blocked him. Whether people have a certain controversial or not, they block him. Yeah. <laughs> they block him. He has sold out, and because he sold out, he sold the people out. How can you bring in, how can you deny a child of the Most High, block them from coming into a Christian country, but then you turn around years later and you're bringing in someone who taps into the demonic. Thank you. So you know what's going to happen to Jamaica now? Right down. Right <laughs> you know what's going to happen to the country? Because right right I'm going to break it down and I'm going to tell you exactly what is going to happen. When this man comes into the country, in December 2024, I don't know the date, can't remember the date, but he's coming in December 2024. Listen, up, guys. Listen to me under no circumstances. Are you listening? Jamaica, under no circumstances must you go to any convention that this spiritualist is keeping. Ahaya says, warn them, warn my people, warn my oh my lord, warn my people and tell them. Under no circumstances must you go and listen to this man's doctrine. Do not do it because he is coming in into the country with the intention to unleash demons in the country because the portals are already open. So it's very easy. Are you listening to me, church? It's very easy for the principalities to come in. I want you to understand what is going on. It's so, so sad. When I analyze the whole thing concerning Jamaica, spiritually I'm talking, it, it, it's bitter, it's horrible, a nasty taste in the mouth. Very, very sad. Because unfortunately, um, Jamaica is getting a double, double whammy. What do I mean by a double whammy? Double whammy, which means that the judgment, are you listening to me, church? The judgment of the Most High is going to come swiftly and quickly. What is the judgment? I've already prophesied about this already. That Jamaica is set for a nine-pointer earthquake followed by a tsunami. That is the judgment. It is set and it is determined. Double whammy for the country of Jamaica. Because not only are they unleashing the spiritualist into the country but <coughs> sorry they are also hosting a demonic and i want you to understand a demonic 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 concert that the so-called artist vibes cartel is going to have in the country in december <laughs> that is against the most high will the people listen no they won't because their heart is set like a flint into the kingdom of darkness because they've gone so far away from the most sky it's unreal question is how can these people come back how can people come back to the first love which is the side of christ bible says that some people are only saved through fear this is a biblical scripture Paul said it. Paul said some people are only saved through fear. So it doesn't matter how much we prophesy, we say turn, they're not listening. And it's only destruction can wake them up. It's sad, but it is true. And unfortunately, that is a judgment that is set for Jamaica. It is through destruction. And I'm not even going to go any further. <laughs> call and, and it was wonderful if the lady is still watching thank you so much for calling in so spontaneously i appreciate the message and i'm gonna clip it up and i'm gonna post it <laughs> i'm gonna clip it up and i'm gonna post it thank you so much for um showing your appreciation for for what i'm doing here on the platform you know what i'm saying um you guys have a blessed friday be safe out there i will be live this evening again hopefully around 4 p.m I don't want to be later than that. I'm going to actually set the live stream from now. And between now and then, I have a premiere coming up in 15 minutes. Y'all better go check that out. 
Um, and just look, just go on the page and look. I got a lot of stuff coming. All right, so see you guys at 4 p.m., but check out the premieres. All right, see y'all later. Thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs>